Hey everybody, this is uh, Tom from WeaponArmor.com. I uh, had the drone out this morning, um, just upgraded the firmware uh, on my 350QX2 to um, the firmware for the 350QX3, which is uh, 3.0. Uh, used the, the programming cable, got my software installed, got everything up and running, and uh, had it out today and noticed that some of the controls were a little bit different, uh, the switches. I just want to go over that, kind of explain some of the, the differences in the, in, the, in the controls. And I also want to kind of show you uh, how I upgraded it. I had a few issues with some software. I just want to go through those couple things real quick. Um, I'll go through it step by step. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, Thanks. first thing we're going to do is um, we'll take our drone. And uh, as you can see, I got my, my camera, camo weapon armor wrap on there. Um, if you go ahead and open up the battery door, you're going to see a cable in here that is the actual programming cable and it comes apart. If you take your programming cable that uh, came with your blade and the part number is BLH7840, um, take that end and simply just plug it into the programmer on the drone, the quadcopter I guess. Go ahead and plug that in. And then we're going to go ahead and take the USB and plug that into our computer, and I'll show you that. All next. right, we have our uh, we got our computer ready here, and uh, actually one of the things that you do want to do is uh, go ahead and connect the battery in. I don't even put it in the in the holder the whole way, but uh, got this connected up here to my um, my Surface Pro. As you can see, I have the USB pl port plugged in, and you're going to want to download the software for the 350 uh, QX, the GUI interface, and um, and the actual firmware update. And you're gonna double, um, when you go ahead and open up the software, you'll go ahead and double click that. It's gonna open up the software. As you can see down here, it says it's disconnected on COM port three. Um, that's something that actually happens when you go to upgrade your software. It doesn't seem to connect um, until you do the firmware upgrade. And if you scroll down on the actual software here, you download the firmware and then you click on install it. And when it comes up, you just go ahead and install the, so the firmware anyway, even though that it says it's disconnected, and that seemed to work for me. That was one of the issues that I had. It kept saying disconnected. I kept trying and trying, and uh, it never connected to the, the quadcopter until I got the s firmware installed. Um, but one of the things that you have to do is you actually have to have the quadcopter on, and you'll see I already upgraded to the new firmware, and uh, right now it connects right away. Um, you have all of your your inputs here, it tells you your orientation sensor, your pressure sensor, your compass, and your GPS. And what's really cool is as I move the quadcopter around, you can see it actually move on the screen. So I can yaw it, I can do the pitch, and it actually changes it right on there. Um, you can actually go through the, the calibration. Um, you can see I have the gimbal set here. Um, and the GPS information, I've only picked up a few satellites because I'm indoors and basically the device information. Uh, I'm gonna go over the controls a little bit. I'm gonna talk about a couple things that changed. I'm really not gonna get into the details of this, this too much because um, Blade has some good tutorials online on that. One of the things we're gonna do is talk about the controller here a little bit. I have the default DEX4 uh, by Spectrum that came with my 350QX2 combo kit. Um, and this is the controller that they're, they're shipping with the uh, RTF, the ready to fly models. Um, but I'm going to talk about this and some of the changes in here. Um, one of the things is, is the way that you can bind it now. Um, there's a couple different co combinations. Um, refer to the manual on the, on the changes, but one of the things that you can do is actually if you bind it, you can bind it um, without the GPS enabled. And essentially um, what you do is roll to the left and hold down the bind button and let off the bind button and it'll bind with GPS enabled to the left and then you can do the same procedure without GPS by holding it to the right powering it on and actually letting go of the bind button and it'll power it on without the GPS enabled um, and they changed this because of the way that you can control the gimbal this is actually the gimbal control now um, for the QX3 so when you flip this down you have throttle control over up and down on the gimbal. Well, it doesn't appear to work with the QX2. Um, so my gimbal, I don't really don't have control. So this button over here to the right, the home and arm does nothing for me now. If I want to bring home, I have to switch it all the way down to the third mode. So essentially I have safe mode at the top, AP mode, 
and then I have return to home. So this actual switch does nothing for me that I've upgraded my firmware on the on the um, on the 350QX2, which I'm not real crazy about. Um, I still wish this was returned to home and this was still the switch and I still had the software capabilities, but that isn't the case. So that's a couple things that's actually changed. Um, I'm flipping this switch to return to home and it's doing nothing. And I, I figured out that you have to actually flip this down. Um, I talked to Blade and their response to the, to the change was is that they were trying to make it so that the quadcopter would not fly away on its own um, without GPS capability to return home. All right, well, we got the, the quad back together and we're using the, the new firmware. Uh, flies perfectly fine, haven't had any issues, did the calibrations. Um, so we're ready to rock and roll. Um, I just want to kind of give you guys an update. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I'm by no means an expert, but I know these are some of the questions that I had when I first started working on it. So I thought maybe uh, I'd throw it out there and go from there. All right, everybody have a good day. Thanks.